Welcome to Google Cloud again. Let's work with today with the VPC networks. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to VPC network. So by default, you have the default network, firewall rules. Okay, good. Now we're going to delete the firewall rules. Let's delete all of it. Delete. Once it's done, you can see the here on the notification channel. There's no firewall. Now we're going to delete also our VPC network. It's going here default. So let's delete the VPC network. Let's refresh that. It takes a while. And next step, we are going to try to create a Compute Engine Virtual Machine. Okay, I'm now going to compute ancient. Let's create a virtual machine. Let's see all these default values. And you can check the command line. Cloud instance create. Zone machine type sub okay. Close. Come on. Create. See, there's a error. There's no virtual machine. So I can dismiss. Because if you check here, I'm going to show you guys, networking, this network doesn't exist, the default network doesn't exist. So that's why I went in error, our creation, so it can just be back. So what we do now, we're going to the VPC network. And we are going to create a VPC network. Whatever you want the name. Let's leave for automatic. Okay. For a sub creation menu, then regional, correct. For our rules, let's uh, select all those values for far rules. Perfect. Okay, and let's create. Once it's done, I'm gonna double check to the firewalls. Here you have external IP address since you need uh, hybrid connectivity. If you can, if you and they gonna use this hybrid connectivity, you would need an external IP address. You need now you get maybe you're gonna use that's why this network be done let's 
Check fire rules in the YEM. Scrape our fire rules. Yeah, great. This is what I expected. Let's go into Compute Engine right now. Now let's create an instance. I'm gonna create an instance in US. I'm gonna call my West Central one. I'm gonna leave it to Central C. Machine type standard. Okay, let's create. We can allow HTTP traffic. Okay. And the column is going to show also network. You see the network is the only one that you have. But by before I got the value. So now. We are going to create another virtual machine where we're going to host in another place. Very close to where I am right now. Let's leave it in Europe West 1. Belgium. Leave it to West 1. Let's leave on a C. Machine types are going to leave for a default. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to load this ATP traffic on the networking. I'm going to check. That working okay this range is correct it's slash 20 so let's create since they are in the same network I'm going to SSH the US VM. I'm going to pick the internal IP. Three. Since they are on the same network, they can be in the same different zone region, of course. They can connect, talk to each other. Because they are on the same network. Okay, now we're going to convert our, let's just exceed this thing here. Now we're going to come to the virtual, to the VPC network. I'm going to pin it because every time I have to go down, scroll down. You're going to convert this to custom. Okay. Or I could just go in there and edit. You can add it. Put it on custom. Okay. Let's save it. Let's be back here to the network. So now it's custom. Now we're going to create another VPC network. Oops, sorry, I'm going to call it management. Subnet creation, we're going to leave for custom. I'm going to call it subnet management. We call it subnet dash unit states. Okay, the region I gotta leave for West Central one. The EP address range I gonna leave for it is. I'm gonna explain later why. This is the range of the other EP addresses. So let's check done. 
let's check the command line. So it creates a network and it creates a subnet. Close. I can just create it. Now I'm going to use the shell. I was doing just another thing, running a big query before previously. So now you're going to create this as I showed. We're going to create a networks using the command line. So as you saw before, GCloud Compute Networks create. So we're going to create this private net. And then later we're going to create a subnet. Okay. That works list. Now we're going to create the subnets. Do you see the AP range? You see the private net here. I'm going to create another subnet. Takes a while. Yeah, just created. Once it's done, I'm going to check out the sub the networks and subnetworks list. You see subnets. Yeah, now let's check subnets list correctly. And now we're going to the networks list. Now we're going to check network subnetwork subnets list. Okay, everything that we have here, you can double check. Management US, my network, private subnet US, private subnet US. Pretty simple. And, um, now let's go back to let's create some fire rules like let's go in here let's create a fire rule i'm gonna give this name network i'm gonna choose management net okay i'm gonna leave the ep ranges Target tags are gonna all instances in the network. Targets all instances in the network. Great. Specify ports and port like TCP. I'm gonna put 22 and the for Windows 389. And other protocols are gonna put ICMP. ICMP. So everything is expected. Double check. Yeah, let's create. I would like to show the command line, sorry. Now we're going to do the same. It's using the shell. I'm going to show you the command I prepared previously. Gcloud Compute Fire Rules Create. You define the, the name of it, the direction, priority, the network. And source range. Okay, let's create it. Okay, perfect. Private low ICMP SSH RDP. Okay. Let's get the firewalls list. Double check it top to bottom. Okay. Wherever again, I would like to show the VPC networks. Okay, fire rules, perfect. That's everything as expected here. So let's try to create some virtual machines now. Here, everything we have as expected. 
Let's go to Compute Engine. Let's create an instance. I'm going to call it Management US VS Net. I leave it in West Central and Central C. The machine type we're going to change for micro. Okay. For networking, I change networking. Well, as I change management net, network tags are going to leave by default. Then, uh, everything I expected here was the management net. Okay. The subnetwork is expected as. Okay. Got the first one. So let's click done. Oh. They're going to be in different networks. So now I'm going to create a virtual machine from the cloud shell. I forgot to. My idea was to show on the command line how they create the command and how you can use the command line too on the shell, which is a, not how those parameters are needed, but this is the at least these ones you, you re really have to have the zone machine type and subnet and the name of course here they are indifferent it's created let's see our list of our virtual machines double check with top to bottom And now, if you try to ping virtual machines there in different networks, for example, let's try to ping from these two from internal should communicate and from, ex of course, external all of them. But internally, since they are in different networks, they should not be able to ping each other. Let's try from the management. US solo. Let's try it from the US again. Let's try to ping ten one hundred zero two hundred thirty. They are in different network, so internally you'd give you 100% a loss. You can see here, virtual machines list. That's me back here. 100% of loss. If I try to ping a so the private iOS, so like this one, seven, two, uh, 16 dot dot two, we give one one hundred percent of loss. Externally, they should be able to ping each other, of course. Right, there is this AP address. There's nothing installed on the, on the root. It's correct. We're gonna install Apache Bint. For an external, should be able to. Now, in this case, I'm I'm just proving that from they are in the, the same network, so they should ping each other so like 10 dot 132.0.2 dot dot which is this one here they are in the same network and ping this AP address so in this case it, that works no loss thanks for watching and this was a briefly explanation about virtual private networks vpc networks thanks for watching bye bye